we're on topic of influencers and so far i shared with you the differences between inspiration and influence how you can take informed decisions recognizing what positive and negative influences are in your life and last week i shared with you the power of self influence and today as discussed last week i want to talk to you about the tips that you can use to strengthen your self influence let's get started Hey there, I'm Aparna, your personal coach, helping you upskill yourself to lead the life you desire. If you have not watched the last week's video, The Power of Self-Influence, then I suggest you watch that video first because it will give you an understanding on the concepts of self-influence. And like I said before, it's easy for us to say that we don't need to influence ourselves, but difficult for us to have any changes in our behavior because the way we view ourselves, self-concept has direct impact on how you behave. So in order for us to correct our behavior for the better, we need to get into the self-influence mode. Here are the five tips that will help you strengthen your self-influence. Number one, accept the way you are. You and only you know why you are the way you are. Your experiences and learnings in life has given shape to who you are right now. So wear that crown with pride. They can never be another you. This is called as self-acceptance. A little note here, uh, the last time I've done a video on self-acceptance, a lot of you have commented or uh, responded to me saying that would self-acceptance really hinder your growth? The answer is no. Self-acceptance means you are accepting yourself and are happy about who you are right now, but it doesn't mean that you cannot improve. So whatever you are, whoever you are right now is the best place to be in. And of course you have places to go, of course you want to improve, but it has nothing to do with you being happy with yourself at this very moment. Accepting yourself completely with your strengths, your weaknesses and your flaws and still able to move forward to where you want to go. That's self-acceptance. Tip number two is learn to let go. Letting go means willingness to move forward in your journey without holding on to anything that is hindering your progress, such as baggages from the past, a broken heart, or a feeling of being rejected by someone. Hanging on to your past will hold you back, but if you're able to let that go, you'll not just move forward, but accelerate ahead in your life. Tip number three is to reflect regularly, which means think about how your life has been. Is it matching with how you want it to be? Do you see any gaps? If yes, what are you planning to do to fill those gaps? Answers to such questions will come to you if you're able to give some time to yourself and let your busy mind reflect on what you want to achieve and where you are right now. Tip number four is to indulge in some self-love. And I cannot emphasize this enough. You know we have incredible capacity to love, but if you are not able to love yourself, then you are not giving to your fullest capacity. Self-love is an easiest way to find happiness. I've already created a video on self-love, a beginner's guide to self-love. You may check that out for more information. Tip number five is that you manage your time. Time is a most valuable possession of our generation. You know, for decades now, I have been following icons such as Tony Robbins, Oprah Winfrey, Barack Obama and our own Abdul Kalam. Each one of them walked different paths to achieve success in their lives. But you know what is a common thing? They all know how to manage their time. And managing time is an acquired skill. Investing our time into what matters and what will take us forward is so very important. So those are some of the basic things that you can do to develop self-influence. Just remember that doing these things consistently can make you see the change that you may be wanting to see in your life. Each of these tips that I shared today are very, very important in their own right. I will also help you decode some of these concepts in detail in future. So if you have any further questions on self-concept and how it can change your life, you can reach out to me. Do give your feedback in the comment section below or reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that I'm on. Finally, if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to my channel subscribe and also hit the bell button so you'll never miss an update from me thank you so much for watching i'll see you next week bye